Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own logo using Canva. Canva is basically a free to use online graphic design software that you can use to design your own logos, posters, banners and all that. So I'm actually going to walk you through how you can actually design your own logo in this video tutorial. Subscribe if it is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. That much I do. So this is the logo I created and I'm going to create something very similar to what we have over here. So you need to have a concept what you want to create your logo for. So you need to have an idea as to what you want to create your logo for. Whether it's for a specific brand and which kind of brand you're going to create it for. So let's assume we want to create a logo for maybe a rabbit farm. So over here, we have some design logo. These are already designed logo that you can select and customize. But maybe you want to create our own logo from scratch then we can go ahead and click on create a blank logo but before that you need to sign up on canva that's canva.com you need to sign up in order to have access to this tool there are several categories and i'm picking logo for this tutorial so we'll go ahead and click on blank logo and it's going to open this page for you so this is the page where you're going to design everything you can design and animate it in your logo so over here if i want to animate this logo for instance I can just go ahead and select and go to animate. So you're going to give me a preview. You can see there are several ways I can actually animate this logo. That's the tons of effect that I can use to animate this logo. And that's not the purpose of this video. We want to create a logo first and later on think of animating it. So let's go ahead and click on add a new page here. But before that, you need to subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. So once you are done with this, you can have added a page and you're going to inherit the color of the previous page. So I can select this page, go ahead and change the color back to white. So I'm going to pick this default color. And then let's say you want to build or design this logo for a rabbit farm. We have several designs over here. Mostly what happens is they're going to get a lot of design templates that you can pick and then edit. But assuming you don't get what you are looking for, then you can actually get your own custom one. You can design your own. One. so let's pick elements so we can add element to our design so let's first create one for a rabbit farm so i want to just look for maybe a cycle so just select a cycle so i just, I just want to select a cycle i'm going to pick a cycle and add it to my design so i'm actually just going to click to just realign this and you can change the color here. I'm going to pick the color. So this I want to pick a green color for this. And then we also want to go back to our elements and then add a rabbit. So you can set for rabbit if you're not getting it. So these are my previous settings. So I'll look for rabbit. Just look for the one that you really want to go with. There are photos and graphics. And click on see all. And it's going to give you several samples you can actually work with. So I just want to pick something like this. Just click on this and then add it. Design. So you can resize this. So I can just resize this and position it exactly in the middle. If you want to make sure this is well aligned, just select everything and then you just go ahead and click over here the spacing and align. We also have the position over here. If I click on the position and I want to align this, make sure the rabbit align the center and I can just click over right here and it's going to align the rabbit exactly in the center. So now I want to change the color of my rabbit. So I want to change it white. So select that and then go ahead and click on this and switch the color to white. Okay, so something like this should be okay for me. Now I also want a copy of this circle. I can select this circle and what you can do is once you select a copy, this you select the circle, anything you select, you see some quick tools that you can use. I can easily do to keep this. And then it's going to give me a copy of it. I can actually resize it. What I want to do is I want to change the color of this to maybe a different color. So I just want to just pick a different color just to show you some. And we can see this behind the rabbit. And if you check this, the rabbit is behind this particular circle. So if you select this and you go to position, and you click on position, you have what back. Okay, you have to back and then backward. So if you was going to send this, I want to send this behind all, then I can go to the back. If I do this this way, it's going to send this to this behind this. Okay, so that's the position. But I don't want to do that for now. I only want 
my circle deleted, so I'll just delete that for now. Let me just reposition my rabbit bar. And if you want to add text within Canva, you can just come here and pick the text tool, and then it's going to give you option at the head. They want to add a heading first, so we click on this, and then we can add a heading. Let's see some rabbit farm. I'm going to type everything in class. Okay, so let's assume this is the title for or the name of our form. We can select this yes go ahead and, and change the font. Okay, there are several fonts we can play with, and then we can also resize this just by reducing the font. And I'm actually going to just reposition this and just delete this. Okay, and you can also change the color of this font. So I just want to make sure I have a uniform color for this particular logo. Okay, like subscribe for more videos tutorials like this. Now, if you have a tagline for your logo, if you have a tagline for your logo, then you can actually go ahead and add the subheading. Click on this and say, basic family, maybe that's my tagline. Okay, so I'm actually going to just type best in rabbit farming and I actually want to reduce these fonts. I just want to use a lighter font. So I'll go for a font called Noto, but I'm going to use a lighter version of this. Then I'll also reduce the size of this. So let me just use uh, Noto Share Display and I'll reduce the font size. I'll actually reduce the font size. Then I'll go with this. So you can play with the font and just do something you know to be okay for you. Now you can keep everything this way and also add some spacing to this. We can just go to spacing and then just add some better spacing. Just make sure this will align with our branch name. So everything is set this way and then I can leave it like this. So you can see we just have everything set up just within some short now, if you want to give a different color to what you've done, then you can go ahead. This is a page. You can actually duplicate this page and we can play with another color. So when I do this, you can see I have the first and the second. So over here, what I will do is that I will rather, I will rather change this rabbit. I'm going to change this rabbit to a green color. So I'm going to select my color here and make sure my rabbit is green. And the circle is going to be white. And my first heading over here, I'm going to change it to white. I'm going to change it to white. So certain things may not make sense at the moment. But what we want to do is that let's select the background. And on the background for this logo, I'm going to change it towards green. Okay. Once I do this, you can see how visible this is going to look like. So we just create a different sample of our logo like subscribe for more video tutorials like this because i have a lot coming up and then you can afford to miss that we'll be doing a lot right here on this channel and this is how to create your own logo using canva so once you are done with this and you want to download this you can just go to share and then we have the download option just click on that and i have four pages if you want to download just one of this i can basically go ahead and then i can uncheck the rest here and then just make sure i pick only one so I check and then maybe I want to leave the third page. I can select that and it's going to be downloaded as PNG file. Just click on down and then I can download this onto my computer. You can see it's been downloaded onto my computer and you can use this anywhere at all you want. So you can see my logo is now downloaded. I have easily created my own logo. I created my own logo using Canva. If you want a white one as well, you can download that one. If you want to download the complete set, then you can actually do that and download all the pages. There are several ways you can download this. You can download this as PDF. It's option for PDF. PDF standard, PDF prints, JPEG, video. So that means you can do a GIF file, a GIF file, and then MP4 file. You can do everything here. Like, subscribe for more video on Canva. Bye bye.